Okay, YouTube. So, um, got a boombox update. I got a new head unit. It should be here tomorrow. So in the meantime, I'm gonna torture this one. Got some new speakers in here. These are from my Dayton's. My Dayton B652s. They're the smaller versions of those. So let's see what we got going on in here. It smells like wood in here, so I don't think anything's burning yet. That's a bit warm. How's the heatsink doing? Ow! Okay. Damn, that's like a grill. It's really hot. Which means we're cooking. Yeah. That heatsink does a lot better job than I thought it did in the beginning. Because this thing's only a little bit warm, but this thing here is like burning freaking hot. So it's definitely pulling heat away. It should get a metal. I also may actually clean up all of this wiring. I can't remember, but I'm willing to bet half of this wiring in here isn't even really connected to anything, so... Yeah, I've noticed that they drop off in Enterprise Renovans. And they're, frankly, they're not good, because this was supposed to be here like two days ago. It's actually really late. But, it's here, finally. So I want to talk about some stuff out of the box. Um... So you get your delicious poison candy. Uh, the remote is actually surprisingly really nice. It's like a TV remote. It's not just the little PCB with a sticker over it like you usually get with car stereo. So it's pretty nice. Some documentation. Here's the faceplate. Now this is actually kind of nice. This faceplate. It's really really light, but then again, it doesn't it doesn't feel cheap. Like it feels like you could whack it on a rock and it would be fine. It probably wouldn't be, but it feels like it would be. So, yeah, that would make it pretty easy to carry around. It's also pretty small, as you can see. And the unit itself is pretty chunky and beefy. I mean, it's not it's not lightweight. Because, you know, some of them, they just, like, have everything jammed up in the front, and then the inside of here is completely hollow. There's also a good, uh, it's a small fan, but at least they put in a fan. Here's all your cables, you know, I.O. and power cables and speaker and whatever. I don't know why those come pre-connected, but these don't. Whatever. So, yeah. Take this thing down to the workshop and get it all wired up. Okay, YouTube, here we are down in the workshop. Let's get to it. There's the old unit. Now let's get the new one in there. Here it is. You can't see that too well, I bet. Okay. Let me get these twisty ties undone here. Got a USB cable. What is this? Line in, so that's for like a little flash drive or whatever. Let's see what we got here. It's for a camera. This is just, I think, a ground. Yeah, that's what that is. And what's this brown one? YB. Oh, it says key B. 
in key A. And that's the brake wire, so that's going to be grounded. Okay, I'll get back to you guys when this is all wired up. Okay, sorry if the lighting's a bit weird. I had to play with the camera a little bit. So, I got everything wired up. Um, thankfully, this extra harness that goes in here, which... Here we go. Has the same connectors that this originally had for power, so... I could just throw those in so all my speaker and power is wired up properly, and I've also grounded my brake to the positive terminal. That's really close to the positive terminal and shouldn't. There we go. So... The only thing I'm worried about is there's a lot more spaghetti wiring for extra stuff like a power antenna and steering wheel volume control and shit like that that this unit didn't have. So since I've got more spaghetti to work with, I'm hoping I didn't mistakenly wire anything the way it shouldn't have been. But, you know, worst thing that could happen is it zaps itself and then I send it back to Amazon and say it was DUA and then get another one. So, yeah, where's my, oh, there it is. I've got all the power wires wired up properly, I'm just hoping I don't have something grounded or wired to the positive of something that shouldn't be. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, you know what I mean. There we go. Plug that in. Where's the fixed plate? What do I do with it? Put it back in the box. I did. <laughs> Put it back in the box. Let's see. How's this going here? Like that. I'm hoping this one doesn't have the same problem that this one did that I'm pointing to that you guys can't see. The pins in here for the faceplate are really fragile. At least I, I hope they aren't. With the other unit, they were very fragile, so you have to be careful. Now, how does this? Does it just go on there? Oh, I got that in there. Where are the clips? Oh, does it just slide in? I think it... it go in? There's like literally almost no clips on this thing. Does it just snap it in? What's that? Does it just go down? Okay. Okay. In you go. Oh. The CD player came on. I'm gonna have to look this up. I'm more, I'm not liking this. This isn't very easy to figure out. <laughs> Where's the instruction book? Incredibly unhelpful. It just snaps in there somehow. Now, does that. Oh, you know what? Okay, I think I got this. That clips into there. Yes! And we got power. Cool. Okay. We got sound. both speakers. Yeah, we got it. Hmm. Okay, let's, how's the screen come out? Actually, I should pull this forward a little bit before I try pulling out the screen so it doesn't hit the wood. There we go. I assume you just hit open. Cool. How 
far can I push this back? Oh, all the way. Cool. Still gonna have to come forward a little bit for the lid. Now, how do you tilt it? Where's the tilt? Is that it? No, I was gonna change the channel. <sighs> what about that? What's that do? Oh, that's um, source. Maybe if I try the remote. Let's see. Is there a tilt function on here? There's lots of setup buttons. Set up? Is there even a battery in here? Yeah, there's a battery. Maybe it's upside down? I don't know. Where's the IR sensor at? Oh, I see. Um, set up. Set up. That doesn't do anything. Where's the volume? Volume doesn't do anything either. So the battery's probably in there upside down, I bet. Or maybe the battery's completely flat, or maybe this remote's broken, or maybe I'm just going nuts. What does the apps do? The apps doesn't do anything. Cool. Well, at least I know I can adjust that. Now, where is the damn menu? Um. What if I push open again? No, that just brings the screen in. Screen feels pretty tough. I like that. Yeah, that's gonna have to tilt. Now, how do I tilt it? Yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I figure out how to tilt it. Okay guys, we're back. We've got everything figured out and I'm gonna show you how it all works. Okay, so this button here that says open, you just push that to make the screen go in. And then you push it again to make the screen come out. And I've got the screen adjust right, so it's not banging up against the finish here. Uh, I have noticed the screen does have a little bit of play to it, but other than that, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, I guess it could get annoying if you're touching it, but I wouldn't worry about anything whacking it off or anything, so. Here are some of the apps that you've got. As you can see, the motion's not very fluid. You've got radio, disc, this does do DVDs, I believe. Actually, I grounded the, I should check that. I'm gonna check that. Uh, where's my disc? There it is. I've got a non-copyright disc here, full of sawdust. I don't know why it's full of sauce. There we go. Let's see if my parking brake worked. Yep, okay, so I did ground the parking brake properly. Do I just push? There's no play button, is there? Oh yeah, it's one. Okay, that's enough of that. The DVD feeder is pretty nice. It's not slow or... It's not like one of those DVD players that takes forever to suck in the DVD or one of those ones that just snatches it right out of your hand or like shoots it at you. It's pretty, pretty nice. I like the motion on that. Uh, okay, let's go back to the menu. Um, so, yeah, you got radio, of course, SD card, USB, and you've got aux, AVN, you've got a calendar, which is pretty neat. So if you were, like, doing a business where you needed a calendar, you could always have a calendar in your 
truck or your car with you. It's also got a calculator, which is kind of silly. No way! Okay, let's get out of that. Then here you've got SWC. I don't know what that is. I'm guessing that's for volume controls on the steering wheel. These are all the controls you'd get on your steering wheel. I'm, I, I don't know. If you got one of those little separate things. Okay, let's go into settings. Here are your audio settings. Adjust your treble, treble, volume, volume, treble, volume, and bass. And you've also got presets here for pop, rock, and classic. And then off. Oh, i got to readjust that now. Yeah, I don't like doing it with the screen, adjusting it with the screen. I'd prefer to, the better way to do it is just, just push the button in, volume, and then adjust the bass that way. I like that on 6. Trouble plus 1. I might need to boost that later. I don't know. So far the equalizer on this thing is pretty much the same. So yeah. It's pretty cool. And you've also got a fader. I think you can move that around. Yeah you can. See that? It moves around. I'm going to put it back in the middle. Um, back in the middle. Nope. I hope there's a better way to adjust that. Okay, so the fader is really fiddly. There, in the middle. So don't play with the fader. Um, one thing I'm noticing is the operating system on this unit is a little bit different than what I've seen in reviews. The fader is a lot more easier to adjust in the reviews, and there's also a mid-range and a separate equalizer. But this unit doesn't appear to have that. So yeah, you can pick different wallpapers. I'm just still scrolling through them, seeing what I like. And some stuff there, more stuff here. Here's your screen angle. I found that, where you can tilt your screen. Uh, I found one is pretty much 90 degree, two is a little more forward, and it just keeps going, going forward and forward. I don't think it can go negative, so. Auto screen on, I don't know, I'll play with that later. Illumination, you can change the color of the lights. Right now, I think it's just on some sort of cycling thing. Yeah. So, you can see there. I don't really care, so I'm probably not going to play with that. Ooh, I like that. It just took me out of settings. Well, now i got to select wallpaper 4. What's that look like? Oh, nice. I've heard you can upload your own. So, I guess I'll figure that out later. I guess that's it. So yeah, those are your basic options. Here's your vo more volume options. Sub volume, I don't have a subwoofer. Camera volume, don't have a camera, so these are pretty much meaningless to me. You can change your screen brightness. Oh sh maybe I shouldn't have done that. Come on. There you go. Come oh, that's too bright now. Come on, back down in the middle. Don't go up. Just go back down in the middle. It's like trying to wrestle with a horse. There. Uh, try not to play with those sliders. <laughs> the screen looks fine, so... It's fine. Disk menu, English. This is pretty much just language. Oh yeah, this is all language settings right here. Not much to that. Then you can set your date and time. <coughs> 2014. What does that say about the stereo? Um, so, yeah. This unit was about $100. But I just had to get that other one out of here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You can also, uh... There. That menu slide's really weird. Very, very basic system on this thing, I'll tell you what. The screen, I think um, you'd only really use the screen for probably watching movies, and that's about it. I can't think of any other reason why you would need it. So most of the time you'd probably just want it put away, and you could use the buttons on. You can use the on-screen buttons there. So, 
Yeah. I'm going to see if I can change the wallpaper.